Here's Larry measuring. Trying to get it. Well, it's actually we're measuring this. This tree was uh, March the 19th. It was cut down. So this is the growth since March 19th of 2013. And there's Polony Tree Expert Larry measuring. Bob is over in the okay, shade. It's about two inches higher than where it is. No, it's not. It looks like it's right on it to me. You can see the measurement is not exactly scientific. <laughs> We're not triangulating. But that's pretty good growth. Look at the look at the size of the base of that tree. Looking pretty good. Okay, so we have Mike and Larry. And Bob, your friendly Polonia Tree Research Project crew. Okay, let's see what the let's see what the total is. Nineteen feet exactly. Nineteen feet on the money. Pretty healthy growth for what, four months, six months? Six months almost. Six exactly. months, nineteen feet. All right. <laughs> And that started with a four-inch little shoot. Mm-hmm. So. Well, more importantly, it started down on the ground March 19th. <laughs> when these two guys... Hi, Bob. How are you? Hello, hello. Now, this is Bob. He's got a lot of expertise in, uh, what, all the farming? Yep. All kinds of farming, yep. everything. Why don't you just introduce yourself and tell I'm, us how you got into this. I'm Bob Kaler. I was in the biomass business for about 20 years, and... Uh, Met one of the fellows that uh, was my uh, PCA. Uh, he's my chemical guy. Told me about a fellow in, in, in Reedley. I needed to go see these trees. And we went down, had a conversation, and uh, asked what he was going to do with them. He didn't have a clue at that point. But anyway, we uh, worked together for a number of years, and we're at this point now looking to uh, provide uh, a quality lumber here in this valley. Awesome. So that's about the extent of my story at this point. Now you have you've made your own laboratory. You've done a lot of research and uh, and studies on this particular plant. That, What's attractive about Polonia trees? Well, the, the fast growth. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, we hope to uh, get people to understand the uh, carbon sequestration or the uh, the ability of the tree to take. Uh, particulates out of the air and mm -hmm. uh, help clean the air as, as well as perhaps uh, water. You can see these leaves are huge. Yeah. So that's lumber primarily is uh, that's our primary goal. So it is a cash grow. You can make money from this. Yes, tree. yes. We can make uh, a lot of money mm -hmm. from the lumber, but we also think that we have the possibility of making uh, money from the carbon sequestration mm -hmm. since we all are involved in, and worry about uh, our clean air. Clean Especially water. here, we can't even see the mountains today. Right. Um, now, how long to harvest a crop like this? Well, we're lumber? hoping to harvest uh, anywhere from seven to, to eight years, mm -hmm. perhaps nine, depending upon uh, how the grove does soil conditions and uh, yeah. various things like that but uh, we would like to have eight years mm -hmm. no longer than eight years to, to, to harvest and then you have here you're leaning on his hoe <laughs> <laughs> your compadre Larry yep. who's done a lot of hard work with this so you see a future in these trees Larry yeah, yeah, a very short one for me. <laughs> we're we're looking at about the next ten or fifteen years for ourselves, but then mm -hmm. passing it on down to our kids, and, mm -hmm. and hopefully more people in the future will be growing these trees. It's a boon for for forestry. Mm -hmm. um, the lumber is uh, the wood is really attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fast growing. It's easy to work. Um, they use it in, in uh, Japan, China, places like that for much of their woodworking. Mm -hmm. And um, we're hoping to, to get several plantations growing and get uh, a market created in this country. There's markets all over the world, but there is no market established 
so far mm -hmm. in the United States, and this is what we're working on. Mm -hmm. And if we can do it right here in the valley, all the better for farmers, for forestry people. Yeah. You know, people that are not being able to get up in the forest and cut lumber anymore, yeah. they can come down here and work on these trees and still be employed. Wow. Well, uh, now what are you thinking? You're trying to get the word out to the public that if they own a little plot of land, this would be um, maybe if they don't want to have orchards or high-maintenance well, crops. That, and that's the thing that... Uh, to me was attractive because I've, I've farmed almonds, I've farmed peaches uh, over the years. They're so labor intense, so much uh, chemicals involved. Mm -hmm. This tree, from what I experienced up to this point, uh, doesn't require much in the way of, of chemical sprays for mm -hmm. pesticides and that kind of thing. And uh, it's not labor intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a little bit of, of grooming to the tree, but outside of that, there's not a lot of uh, labor involved mm -hmm. in growing the tree mm -hmm. in comparison to almonds, which all 12 months <laughs> there's labor of some sort involved Sorry, and, and yeah. a lot of the chemicals. So that's, that's mm -hmm. one of the things that, that attracted me to this tree compared to traditional farming. Wonderful. Was well, there anything else? We don't want to make this too long because it's more of an informational clip that will be seen by people. We'll try to get it out on... Uh, we'll put it up on YouTube. Well, how do you want people? Do you want me to just post at the bottom of the video how people can get hold of you? Sure. Yeah, we can okay. do that. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that so that. Uh, but it's uh, Bob Taylor and Larry. What's your last name? Larry Brown. Larry Brown, and Mike Lemons. Don't get him. Don't get hold of him. He doesn't know anything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll get cut. you. Uh, we'll get you on video later. Well, I'm Maybe thinking, you've had I'm kind of hoping if we make some money, I can shave. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.